Welcome back for another nugget from Saptarishi's astrology. Today we take on a slesha. A slesha is a nakshatra which is represented by the strong snake, a coiled snake. This snake has very embracing and clinging attitude. Whichever planet that is within its periphery, within its boundary, that karaka has very clinging attitude, be it the Lagna or any other focal planet. It is a very strong nakshatra and it is also called a Tikshna nakshatra, that is a sharp nakshatra. It is a coiled nakshatra, a coiled snake. Now, the Tikshna comes from the venom that it has. And being a Gandhanta nakshatra, it is very powerful and very heavy on the native. Nevertheless, it can be very liberating also, provided the native does certain rules that the native follows. One of the key rules that we cover here to be followed by a native who is into Aslesha nakshatra is the native's ability to gossip or not gossip. One of the things that the natives of Aslesha nakshatra are needed to be reminded of is to not gossip. Gossip in the sense not talk ill or in layman terms or in the regular language that we use nowadays is bitch about others. That can cause a lot of downfall for Aslesha nakshatra. So, this is something that we all really need to be aware of, especially people who have Aslesha nakshatra. Aslesha nakshatra is governed by Nagas. At the same time, it comes at the end of Cancer, making it a Gandhanta nakshatra. All the energies of Cancer get accumulated here, and this is mostly in the negative form. Gandhanta is the junction of the knot, and that point is a transformational point and a point of spiritual growth. Some call it cancer. It has the divine wisdom. Aslesha has the DNA structure embedded in it, and so it has the divine wisdom. However, a huge part of it, the halahal, the poison, is very much present there. So, again, I repeat, it is one of the lessons for Ashlesha people never to bitch or gossip or talk ill will about anybody. As we move ahead, we will see a few examples. This is the energy that one needs to conquer and you are born to conquer this energy. A sterling example is Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi had his moon in Aslesha, in the 10th house. And we have never come across any instance where he has written ill, where he has talked badly about the Britishers. He Maybe there was something that he did to get that venom out. However, this energy of not talking ill about anybody, not to let that venom flow in the direction of a wrong speech is something that he had conquered. His moon is in the fourth pada. And that not talking about something could have be the reason, talking wrong or ill about something could be the reason that he rose to the heights that he did. Though he did use that energy to strike back on the Britishers. So, moving on to this example, he is a chart of, it is the chart of a senior position member in the IT industry. He knows how to handle corporate politics and he knows how to talk, take everybody along with him and work 
in his personal life he hates gossiping and he does not talk ill about anybody at all he forgives even those who talk ill about him he has his mercury in the fourth pada of aslesha mercury happens to be the lord of aslesha and also happens to be the second and the fifth lord and he has his mars in the second pada of aslesha mercury is karak of speech here and being the second lord it is doubly so this native hates talking about others this gives him the ability to be reached to a position and to work his way up so not talking ill about people has given him a spiritual outlook here we have sun in the third pada of aslesha nakshatra this is a female chart and this lady has faced downfalls in her life when she used to gossip a lot when after she practiced and she promised herself not to gossip about others she has improved her life and her lifestyle to a huge degree she has been able to sleep well and has been able to practice her spirituality and above all gained that spiritual wisdom so we can see the transformational quality of the venom which when used properly also becomes an antidote sun is conjunct the debilitated mars here in the 11th house of network and circle when she worked it up in a negative manner it gave her a lot of problems on the other hand the same energy transformed her and got her spirituality which is what cancer denotes in this chart again we have sun which is the ruler of the 11th house again of contacts in the 10th house of profession sun here is very much associated because sun gets a uchchabal or digbal in the 10th house so this sun could be the reason that his mahadasha went horrendous when he gossiped or talked ill about others he had major issues in life because of that what he did unto others reflected back or boomeranged back to him more than 1000 times so he faced problems in his career all the way during his son mahadasha sun here as we see also exchanges house the 10th lord and the 11th lord exchanged houses so we know that his career was very much affected by his speech this is a chart of a dutch dutch astrologer and she writes a column on astrology for a gossip magazine she is skilled in her work and ashlesh we know that ketu which rules scorpio which is a co-lord of scorpio is placed in the 10th house of profession again ketu is the ruler of the second house of speech and she works for a gossip magazine final example is the french writer and journalist and gossip columnist while representing another as a second he represented prince napoleon iii with a challenge to duel they got into an argument and the prince shot noya dead the prince was not charged so speech can actually be a maraka your second house can actually act like killing it can speech kills wrong speech kills moon in sin ashlesha nakshatra in the first pada and moon is here the lord of contacts the 11th house and it is conjoined mercury the lagna lord which also happens to be the 10th lord for the case of victor noir and it is also conjoined sun the 12th lord of exits of physical exits from this world and venus which is again the second lord of speech and the ninth lord of fortune 
so the speech as such wrong or otherwise can change a person's fortune for all, for all you people out there who have ashlesha nakshatra a focal key point in ashlesha nakshatra please do keep this in mind more so if you are running a mercury dasha please do keep this point in mind and it is always better to not say anything rather than say something bad thank you then he said please think on this fundamental question of astrology why are you born in so and so lagna taurus lagna kark lagna why not in some